Today, General Hospital's Lynn Harry and Sharon Wyatt will battle it out with Santa Barbara's Frank Runyon and Chip Mayer for a possible bonus of $10,000 for one of you at home. It's the showdown of the Battle of the Soaps on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is, they love a good roll in the hay. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All right, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to the Battle of the uh, Soaps here on Scrabble. Home to your word for this uh, day was sent in by Faith Ray from Fayetteville, North Carolina. We have a uh, t-shirt for you, Faith. Now, this week, some of your favorite stars from Santa Barbara and General Hospital are with us, and they've been playing for all you folks out there in our home audience. Uh, the winners of, of uh, the Monday through Thursday shows are back today for the final showdown to see who's going to win between Santa Barbara and General Hospital. So Charlie has our first two stars. Here they are. He spends his time with three little pigs. He works with children. Playing Father Michael, Frank Runyon, and playing T.J. Daniels, Chip Mayer. All right, nice to see you back. Two good looking guys. Frank, tell me about this Three Little Pigs thing. What is this? Well, I write songs is my hobby, and I just was writing some songs for the Big Bad Wolf, uh, Yum Yum Little Piggies, which you've probably heard on your radio. And we're uh, pitching it around town. It's a children's tape series. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of an interesting project. Have you got any nibbles? Um, no, but uh, that's why I mentioned it. I oh. <laughs> All your favorite. Maybe this giant travel. coyote would come yeah. leaping out of the audience and grab it. Yeah. Well, nice to have you here. Good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah. How you doing, Chip? Good. How are you doing today? Just fine. You and Ashley are fine. Oh yeah, Chip's really. daughter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you work on a cause of some kind. Yeah, I work with friend. abused kids. I um, I used to. I lifeguard for a while when I was uh, in college. I used to do like swimming therapy with handicapped kids, and now I'm getting involved with abused children and stuff over McLaren. It must Hall be and other very things. rewarding. Well, it is. Yeah. I mean, I came from the oldest of seven kids and kind of a Norman Rockwell print background so you figure you want to spread the wealth around and kids oh, are the magic nice. you know oh, that's great glad to hear that uh, we ask our viewers to send postcards in their names are drawn at random we ask uh, each of you by the way has an envelope in front of you containing those names whatever you win goes to that person at home and uh, who won the toss I did okay let's go to the board right. we're gonna play Scrabble till somebody gets three words right then that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint they have a chance at the jackpot worth ten thousand dollars take a look at the board as we set up for the first game Chip. Building on the letter O, there are seven letters in the word, and the clue is some women have never, uh, some women never seem to get enough of it from a man. Uh, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer, don't forget the pink and blue squares, because they're worth money. Okay. Some women never to seem to get enough of it from a man. Okay, I'll take one and two. N or a U? I'll take the N, please. And I'll take uh, the U as well. No, stopper goes over to you, Frank. Oh, I tell you what, um, I think I know what it is. You want to go for it? No, I think I'm just going to uh, say it. Alimony. That's right, it is alimony. Yes, sir. <laughs> kind of a chauvinistic thing to say. <laughs> Here we go, Chip. Building on the letter I in alimony, seven letters in the word. The clue is some guys down a couple as soon as they get home from work. Okay, I'll take the um, seven. And the three. B or an R? I'll take the R, please. Falls into place. Some guys down a couple as soon as they get home from work. Uh, the B, please. No, stopper. Not having much luck with those, right? Okay. Uh, I can't read that. Oh, that's a it's nine. It's a nine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a nine Just and Just got eight. up to eight, eh? Okay. <laughs> Some guy is down a couple. Oh, just ask for the letter. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I'll take a uh, um, N. Some guy's down a couple as soon as they get home from work. I don't know. Uh, why? I don't know. That's a stopper. Back to you. A little luck for you. Oh, only okay. one stopper left. I'll take the um, one and the two. Okay, have a P or an A. I'll take a P, please. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's, that's, yeah. Probably, yeah. that's Aspirin. all right. Aspirin. Yeah, that's exactly right. You're, I was thinking you could go on, but you actually were right. You yeah. couldn't. Uh, once you use the A, you're out of, out of gas anyway. I'm eager, to, I'm eager to get a win. 
<laughs> okay, bell means we're out of time. Going to play the rest of this no. in speed word, so it's all matched up now. Hands on your buzzers. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you. All tied up, building on the letter A in aspirin. Nine letters in the word, and the clue is Elvis made several famous ones. Ready? Go. Elvis made several famous ones. Elvis made several famous ones. Chip. Gyrations. That's right, it's gyrations. Two to one, Frank's trying to tie it up. Chip's going for the game, building on the letter I in gyrations. Five letters in this word. The clue is some people find it uh, tough facing it in the morning. <laughs> it's like a book. Some people find it tough facing it in the morning. Ready? Go. Some people find it tough facing it in the morning. Frank. Music. Oh, Frank. Music. Chip, you got it. Yeah, that's it. Beat him out. Boy. Music. Ooh, couldn't come up with that one quick enough. Did you punch him before you knew it or did you just go blank? No, I just went blank. No. You didn't know it then? No, no, I didn't know it. Oh. <laughs> I just said, like, you'll get it if I don't guess. So. You were right. That was a smart thing yeah. to do. It just didn't come to you quick no, enough. Didn't. Well, we got a camera going to somebody. Who's it going to? Ruth Chinaveri. Oh, let's see that. Oh, you're right. Chinaveri. Very nicely done. That's your question. Me of all people. Charlie's going to tell her about the camera. Ruth, Frank's one for you. The Yashica Samurai double 35 millimeter autofocus camera. Zooms from wide angle to telephoto as auto loading flash wind and rewind. Delivers twice as many photos. Furnished by Yashica Samurai. <laughs> Where's Ruth from? <laughs> Ruth is from Dearborn Heights, Michigan. All right, enough air time for you, but we'll see you later. Okay, Ruth. Right? <laughs> That's what got on the show. All right, Jimmer. Jimmer got it. Well, he's good representative for Santa Barbara, you have to admit, because he's got this other game down pretty tight. We're going to come back find out just how tight right after this. Stay with me. Yeah, he, he, picked, he picked up some kind of clue. And now, back to the Battle of the Soaps and Chuck Willary. All right, Chip Mayer, as I said, caught on to how to do this a little bit earlier. He was playing real, real well. He's got $500 for his uh, person. Let's find out who you're playing for at home. Yeah, it's uh, Gene Knoll in Peguinock, New Jersey. All right. But, yeah. yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Okay, new time he mentioned, so uh, $1,000. For Gene, and you're going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will try to beat that time. Play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. No stoppers. All yes, the letters are good. All righty. Good luck. Thanks. First word, five letters. This is for the integrity of Santa Barbara. <laughs> no pressure. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. They leap at every opportunity. They leap at every opportunity. Ready? Ready. Go. G. R. O. They leap at every opportunity. F. Frog. Yeah. Second word, seven letters. I, is that what I think it is? Tell me. Yeah. It's chow time in Italy. Ready? Chow time in Italy, right. Go. Hey. Oh, go ahead. Tell me. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, goodbye. Well, they had to take a shot because yeah. it's a 10-second penalty. Answer, yeah. Well, yeah. it happens. 10-second penalty. Let's go on. Okay. It's chow time in Italy. Ready? Ready. Go. P. A. T. It's chow time in Italy. R. I. G. Par. Uh, oh, really? You just went blank. You just went blank, didn't you? Yeah. You know what it is? Mm, da, 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 da. No, I don't. Well, let's continue with it then. It's chow time in Italy. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Go. N. Oh. Harding. Yeah, Chow. Hey. You yeah. See, I was looking at the way it's spelled. C-I-A-O, uh, C-I-A-O, and I, yeah. I, that's why I said, is that what I think it is? Ah. Okay, third okay. word, eight letters. I just forget that one and go on. Yeah, Don't thank you, it. thank you. You will. <laughs> Sometimes it's a hop, a skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. E. O. I. Sometimes it's a hop. A. Skip and a jump. B. S. C. Sometimes it's a hop, skip. Aerobics. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> By the way, before you get all confused, I've seen this happen to the same person on the same puzzle the next time, and I'm doing it even worse, so don't, uh, it ain't over yet. <laughs> Nine letters. Okay. He's always left behind. He's always left behind. Ready? Okay. Go. S. R. A. Always left behind. T. G. 
Straggler. That's right, Straggler. 62.4, it would have been 42.4. Yeah. Yeah. Basically is what it amounted to. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. okay. All right, we're going to come back, Chip, see if his 62.4 holds up right after this show. Yeah. Okay, we're back, and Charlie has two stars. She has a new ambition. She works to save animals. Playing Tiffany Hill, Sharon Wyatt, and playing Lucy Cove, Lynn Herring. Well, it's nice to see you all back. How are you, Sharon? What, what's, uh, what's the new ambition you have? My new ambition is become, to become a game show hostess. <laughs> oh, That's what I want to do. I decided this is the business for me. Yeah. Come in, work one day a week. I mean, it's great. I love it. Thank you for telling the world that. I sure appreciate it. <laughs> I know it's a very hard job, but, you yeah. know, I've been inspired. No, you know? you're in the, in the ditch. Don't try to get yourself out of it. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd love to have now. you. I'd love to have you on our network or on another show. All too. right. Yeah, thanks for coming today. Uh, Lynn's uh, going to tell us about. You were talking about you're into saving the animals and things like that. How do you do that? Well, I've been working with endangered species, saving them for a long time. But I had a chance to go to Africa this year, and I visited the gorillas. Did you? And it was the most incredible experience I've ever had. It you was know, wonderful. I have a feeling that it would. One of my favorite movies was Lord Greystoke, which I thought they kind of faithfully reproduced to a certain extent. And I, I, I think that'd be. Oh, it was exciting. Interesting. Yeah. I love the gorillas. Well, it's nice to have you ladies Thank back. You. Good luck to both of you. Who won the toss? Sharon, you did. I did? I think so. I wasn't even paying attention. Sharon's not going to the board because she won the toss. <laughs> Here we go. Building on the letter U, eight letters in the word, and the clue is their wives are in for a rude awakening. Their wives are in for a rude awakening. Okay, I'll take a six. I'll take a ten. H or an R? Uh, R, please. Their wives are in for a rude awakening. H, please. Falls into place. We gotta go again. Three, five. Oh, they got it down. I'm telling you. C or an O? Uh, C, please. Ooh, the wives are in for a rude awakening. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, gotta go for the O, but I think it's a stopper. Nope. Their wives are in for a rude awakening. Oh, I gotta go again. This is driving me nuts. I'll take an eight. I'll take a seven. Another C and an E. I better go with the E. Their wives are in for a rude awakening. I'm going to have to do it. Grouches? That's right, it's grouches. You got it. Well, what a nice run on that one. Okay, Lynn. Building on the letter E in grouches, six letters in the word. The clue is a lot of boxers go there for vacation. A lot of boxers go there for vacation. Okay, I'll take the one and the five. E and a K. Um, I'll try the E. Worth a thousand dollars, awfully early in this puzzle. Oh, a lot shoot. of boxers go there for vacation. Mm, I'm gonna have to take the K. First letter in the word. A lot of boxers go there for vacation. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick two more. That's a shame. Two and a four. G or an N? Um, I'll try the N. A lot of boxers go there for vacation. <laughs> I'll try the G. Oh, had a good run, I think. Nope. So, nope. Stopper. Gally. Gally. Hey, Sharon. Number seven, number eight. L and an N. Oh, heavens to Betsy. I'll take the N, please. A lot of boxers go there for vacation. Can't give you the last letter. That's up to you. Kennel? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sitting there right in front of you. Oh, boxers. Like boxers. Yeah, now, I knew both of you. Both of you had the gloves on. I knew you were thinking of gloves. There is our animal person. Here we go, Lynn. Oh, okay, both of you. We're out of time. Going to play the rest of this game in speed word. Uh, hands on your buzzers. Put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give the last letter. It's up to you. Uh, Lynn's trying to get back into the game. Sharon's uh, going to win it if she gets this next word. We're building on the letter E and kennel. There are nine letters in the word. And the clue is they need a lot of dough to get into business. Ready? Go. They need a lot of dough to get into business. They need a lot of dough to get into business. We need a lot of dough. Lynn? Pizzeria. That's right, it's a pizzeria. <laughs> Two to one. Anybody's game. Building on the letter I in pizzeria. Six letters in the word. And the clue is, some people will try to scare it out of you. Ready? Go. Some people... Hiccup. Hiccup is exactly right. It's all tied up in anybody's game. Uh -oh. Building on the letter U in hiccup. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is, sometimes he pays for your mistakes. Ready, go. Sometimes he pays for your mistakes. Lynn, insure. insure is exactly right. And another one, two, three came from behind. Good. 
Did you see her come from behind? She just got into a rhythm and did it. I know. Yeah. Well, let's see who you're playing for, oh, sweetie okay. pie. Um, I'm playing for Beva. Did Belva. You just, did, did. You, did you just take I your know. gum out of your mouth? My gum out of my mouth. <laughs> of New Philadelphia, Ohio, and it's a new time. Oh, that's good. That's right. why you get they get two cameras in, I guess. Well, you can at least put it behind your ear. Okay, well, no, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get to talk about the camera. We've already done that, haven't we? All right, we'll see you a bit later. Thanks. Thanks that's a good Jack. game. Real okay. good game. All right, Lynn's got a thousand dollars for her player. We're going to find out who she's playing for in the sprint right after this. <laughs> I had this huge convention. And now, back to the Battle of the Soaps and Chuck Ellery. Boy, look at that shot. I'm telling you, we got, uh, we got both casts in here from General Hospital and from uh, Santa Barbara. Uh, everybody's supporting their own teammate, of course, and uh, uh, Chip has established a 62.4 time. Awesome. So Lynn Herring, <laughs> Lynn Herring should be able to put him away with no problem at all. No, I'm not going to. I wouldn't jinx you. You're so mean to me. I am. Okay. I hate you, but I like it. I hope okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, Chip has $1,000 for Gene Noel, Lynn Herring. Who are you playing for, Lynn? Oh, oh gosh. The time? Yeah. Okay, okay, time. okay. Mildred Osborne. Oh, easy one. Lake Worth, Florida. Oh, Lake Worth. Yeah. You got you got yeah. Lake Worth. Lake Worth is the home of oh a college. I can't think of it anyway. Uh, two thousand dollars you have, Mildred, and uh, now she's going to try to win two thousand more for you, and then go for that ten thousand dollars. So both teams step back, and uh, <laughs> you're going to play the same four words as Chip. Oh, Lynn. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, you can lose them so fast. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right. Leave me alone. Okay. Same four words. She's mean to everybody. Well, I, can't I get so it. nervous, I can't stand it. Here you go. <sighs> no stoppers in any of the words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. <laughs> Good luck. First word, five letters. They leap at every opportunity. They Ready? leap at every opportunity. Ready. Go. G. R. Frog. Yes. Second word, seven letters. It's chow time in Italy. It's chow time in Italy? Honey, I don't write them. I just say them. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. It's chow time in Italy. Ready? Ready. Go. N. P. G. It's chow time in Italy. R. A. T. Chow time in Italy. Parting. That's right. Ciao. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Yes, it's no. 46.8. What are you doing? Oh, I, was like, I was hoping you were praying. <laughs> you're going to need all the help you can get at this point. I got news for you. Don't say that. All right, I'll take it back. <laughs> Third word, eight letters. Sometimes it's a hop, a skip, and a jump. Sometimes it's a hop, a skip, and a jump, okay? Ready? Go. E. R. S. Sometimes it's a hop, skip, e. and a jump. C. I. Aerobic. That's right. 35.5 seconds left for the last word. It would take a miracle for you not to get this. Last word. He's always left behind. He's always left behind. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. S. L. G. He's always left behind. R. G. Straggler. That's right. Only 25.3 seconds. Well, the interesting thing about that is, you would have gotten it anyway, yeah. even with the two, uh, the two things. So, it's not bad. Yeah. Listen, come on back in, everybody. And, oh, come on. That's <laughs> very funny. Everybody, there's the whole cast. Is, uh, we don't want to be identified with anybody. The guy's a loser. Uh, you guys have done great. Ashley, what do you think of your dad? He's good. He's good. He did real well. Yeah. Listen, uh, well, I'm not going to thank everybody now because it's not the end of the show, so I'll just take a break, come back, and Lynn's uh, got a little work to do. We'll be back this minute. See you. Hey, Lynn, congratulations. Okay, Lynn Herring. I'm going to play for Mildred Osborne. It's for $10,000. <clears> Come on, baby. Drive me crazy. <laughs> Do this right. Here we go. Two words under ten seconds. Six letters. The stuff heroes are made of. The stuff heroes are made of. Ready? The stuff heroes are made of. Okay. 
Go. L. A. The stuff heroes are made of. A. M. Salami. That's it. Okay. I'm trying to think of the other hero. Got 2.1 seconds. See if you can get this one. See if you can get this one off the clue. Real good chance. Seven letters. Two can play at that game. Ready? No. Two can play at that game. Ready? Two can play at that game, okay. Go. O. E. No. If the first letter was D, it would have been doubles. It was doubles. Yeah, two. That's why I was trying to emphasize two. No. Well, I didn't win that, but everybody come oh, on in. Let's uh, congratulate you on making it that far anyway. General Hospital won a total of $21,000 for our home audience in Santa Barbara. A total of $14,000. Everybody's done an exemplary job. In fact, they've made my week a pleasure. I want to thank each and every one of you for making it easy on me. It was great. And uh, I'm so glad that all of us could see all of your favorite uh, soap opera stars. And thank you again for coming and sharing this time with us. And uh, that's all the time we got. Bye, Ashley. See you, everybody. Come on down. Let's go this way. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tennis speaking. Scrabble is a Red's Grundy production.